The bond has gone between Mill, Lewisham Council, whatever we had in the past, it, it just don't exist anymore. I think they think that we're a bug that they need to squash. They don't like us, they don't want to see us. I mean, no one's denying that the area needs regeneration, it does need it. But Millwall needs to be part of that because they are a big part of the community. You look at the other clubs, you know, Charlton and that sort of thing, and maybe even Leighton Orient, that the same sort of things could be happening there. So I think it's, uh, it, this would be the tip of the iceberg if this does actually go through. I really do wish I understood what was going on. I'm just dumbfounded. You know, the difficulty I think is the fact that we've all been left in the dark means that customers are being frightened. They're being left in a very uncertain position. This can happen to any football club, and it has happened before. I mean, we saw it happen with Wimbledon. There's money going somewhere over this and they don't know who they're dealing with. Renewal, uh, no, no one seems to know who they are. I just don't understand their aim. So why are they so hell-bent on giving renewal, gifting renewal, all of our land, all of our buildings, all of our hard work? You know, Millwall fans will get over, you know, whatever happens. I think it's the local community that will suffer more because once this area is gentrified, then the surrounding areas will become so unaffordable that people will all just move out and you'll end up, you won't have any working class people in the area. Well, everyone would suffer, the fans who come here to football, um, the people around who's got businesses. Oh, only little businesses like the cafe and the little motor shops and all that, they're all going to suffer. They're all going to be out of business and where are they going to go? I'm just gutted, it's just, you know, I can't, just can't get my head around it, like a lot of us. We just can't get our head around it.